Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you guys again for all the support on it. I love the subscribers and to see uh, people really liking that I'm on YouTube now. So anyways, uh, today we're gonna get into um, another workout of mine that I like to do. It's gonna be all fasted. So fasted is just a fancy way of saying on an empty stomach. So we're gonna do arms today and a little bit of cardio um, fasted. So I personally like to do arms in my upper body on a fasted um, simply because the way I'm trying to have my body look is I like the bigger legs and the bigger glutes as you guys as you guys have seen and I like a more slim top I gain muscle very easily um, especially in my upper body and especially my arms so I can do a couple of sets and a couple of reps within a week or two I'll show crazy progress there um, I like the slimmer look so we're gonna do a lot of repping out uh, something I like to call a 10 by 10, which is basically 10 reps, 10 sets um, at different weights. Why I like to do upper body on a fasted diet and or a fasted morning is because simply it um, kind of, it's going to burn the fat off very easily and it's going to be more shredded on top versus me going into a leg day or glutes or something. I want to eat before because I'm burning so many calories and I don't want those calories burned to where it's going to burn my muscles because I'm trying to gain mass down there and I'm trying to lose mass up here. So fasted here and then obviously I'm gonna eat before my workouts on the lower half. That's for me. Um, obviously if you're trying to gain a lot of muscle up top, I would reverse that. See, I haven't eaten anything. I've had coffee, um, which I kind of have to have in the mornings. It's just, it's like something I just have to have. So I'll do coffee or water and then I'll have my BCAAs while I'm working out and then I'll eat my meal 30 minutes after that workout. Go ahead. Okay. Did you want to bring in that? Oh yeah. So on to the next thing that I like to recommend on the fasted workouts is a BCAA. Um, I can't say it enough. I think that it's, it's a great fuel, especially if you're on an empty stomach and you don't have the energy that day, if you're competing or if you're just on a caloric deficit um, with your diet. So I recommend the gallon of water and then putting a scoop of the uh, BCAAs in it. So, I love this song. Okay, um, so anyways, I recommend the Surge BCAA. Um, this flavor, the Mango Madness, uh, this is a new one that I um, just got because I've already finished the other one. It's probably the best tasting BCAA that I've ever had. Had. Um, so I, rec I recommend this one. Um, there's a code, I'll link it below, Nelly Fit for 20% off the Surge products, but um, it's super great and it tastes awesome. So um, I always feel like if the supplements have great flavors, you know, why not incorporate those into your diet? So definitely recommended this. Recommend this with your gallon of water. I need to get another gallon here. Um, and drink that throughout your workout and you'll be energized. The BCAA is an amino acid basically, so these are already in your body and it just helps promote energy. So why not uh, put in more, especially when you're, like I said, you're on a deficit. So, so um, also with one last thing, I like to do my fasted stuff with a sweatshirt on because it makes me sweat more profusely. Um, yeah, it's really gross when you're done, but you feel awesome because you're so sweaty. And this is my super fresh, girly but tough. Oh, so, but top and girly. Sorry, I said it backwards. But um, I always wear this one or the other ones that I have. But yeah, so we're going to get going and I'm going to put on my sweatshirt and we'll do a little bit of fasted workouts. And like always, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys, uh, yeah, following me along. So, so what I'm going to do is um, I like to start out with 30 minutes of the Stairmaster or the 30 minutes of the treadmill. I either walk on an incline or I'll do about an eight, level eight on my Stairmaster. And I'll go into about 20 minutes of just a regular step. And then the last 10 minutes, I'll skip a step. So 30 minutes that fasted go into my arms, which um, today we're gonna do 10 by 10s. 
So we're going to start off with bicep curls. We're going to do um, the straight bar curl on the cable machine. Um, so the cable rack machine. We're going to do 10 by 10. And then we're going to pull it with the cable rope, 10 by 10. And then we're going to do uh, tricep pull downs with the rope, 10 by 10. And then tricep straight bars with the, with the cable attached, 10 by 10. And then we'll go over to the bicep machine and tricep machine. Again, we'll do 10 by 10. We will rep out probably till failure with just bicep curls. And then we'll move into abs. I always recommend doing four sets of 25 of four different ab movements. So we'll go off into the ab movements. request to sing a Disney song so I don't know if I should start now okay. <laughs> little town it's a quiet village every day like the one before little town full of little people waking up to say bonjour 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 there goes the baker with his tray, like always. The same old bread and rolls to sell. Every morning, just the same, since the morning that he came to this poor provincial town. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Monsieur. Where are you off to? The bookshop. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an ogre. That's nice. Marie, the baguettes. Hurry up. Okay. That's it. No more, because I'm obsessed with Disney.
workout. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm really tired and I'm excited to go eat because I love food. I'm gonna have a, um, an egg white omelet with two pieces of turkey bacon and two pieces of Ezekiel bread and the Walden Farm sugar-free syrup. Um, that's gonna be my uh, breakfast food this morning with a little bit more coffee because we all use more coffee, could all use more coffee. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go hydrate and then get ready for my next workout, which would be later on today. So, uh, like always, thank you guys for supporting and I really appreciate it and sky's the limit. about the waist trainers that I've been wearing. Um, you can get yours off of Amazon. Uh, I think they're all over the place pretty much. I wear mine simply because I don't use it as a tool for slimming my waist. It's because personally for me, I have really bad digestive problems and I feel better when my stomach has a more compact uh, something around it. So it makes me feel better and it actually helps my posture in the back a little bit with my spine. So that's why I wear it. I have a very uh, big posterior tilt in my back, so the waist trainer kind of just helps me correct it a little bit, especially when I'm working out. And so I don't put so much emphasis on the lower part of my uh, tilt. So people wear it for slimming, people wear it for conforming, people wear it for sweating. Um, that's why I wear mine and I personally like it. I don't recommend wearing it 24 hours a day. Um, I would just recommend wearing it during your workouts or I guess however it makes you feel most comfortable. So um, I just wanted to answer that question because I've gotten a lot of questions about the waist trainers or um, that I wear. So like I said, you can get yours off of Amazon. They're kind of all over the place. I've seen some at Expos where they're all kinds of different colors and stuff like that. Uh, I just have a simple blue one. I'm wearing um, an extra small. Um, I recommend if you're going to get, if you're going to wear it a lot, I recommend getting two or three simply because you're going to want to wash them and uh, they can fall apart if you wear them all the time. Obviously with anything, with usage and everything, it's kind of like you wash it, set it out to dry, but if you wear them over and over again, I would just recommend getting a couple, um, especially if you wear that every day. Yeah, the BC. Uh, yeah, I was just. Hi guys, it's Deli again. Uh, I like Oreos. Okay, my name's Nelly. Um, I'm such a bad camel toe. Ugh.